Hey, welcome back to Brad Tragic. Um, this time, a little bit different uh, thing I'm going to do. Uh, it's actually going to try and start doing like some sort of daily news thing uh, just to get myself out there more. Um, so, Ralph Lau and I jump right into the news. Uh, the first story is it might be the most popular story right now. Uh, Ashton Kutcher um, replaced Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. He made his debut. Technically, it's Wednesday right now, but Tuesday night, he replaced uh, Charlie Sheen officially on the show. It aired, um, got a ton of viewers, uh, more than, I guess, what Sheen had been able to give him uh, in the past. And uh, so I don't know what to think about this. Um, I, I kind of think that over the long haul, I think Sheen probably would have been better given what he does. They should have known halfway through the series that he was going to be like that in the beginning. But I, I give Ashton maybe two seasons with the show, and then it'll probably end. Uh, that's that's just my thinking. Um, next story is just, just, just going to say briefly, uh, Dancing with the Stars. The first person released was our Ron Artest, uh, NBA player. Um, Guess he did some cha cha dance and uh, they didn't like it, but he dressed real funky, so they gave him points on that. <laughs> I have no idea. He was the first one out. Uh, just giving you that news. Uh, some other cool news. Um, I'm getting this basically from Yahoo News. I'll, I'll probably pick some different news sites that you'll check out this randomly. Certain nights I'll check out what the biggest news stories are. Um, Heinz Ketchup has developed a new ketchup packet. Um, it's very, very new. It's going to be very, very cool. I don't know when they're going to roll it out, but uh, I didn't really catch that on the story. Um, but basically, it's going to have two ways you can use the packets. You can uh, peel back, you can peel back the uh, the packet, or you can squeeze it out like you normally do. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. They said that in, they said in the story that you know uh, most of the sales from behind the uh, ketchup packets came from convenience stores and so most of our ketchup goes through that. So they've been on I think like a two, three year uh, research on developing, you know, the best packet. Ooh. The best ketchup packet. So that's pretty cool. And on the same note as food, uh, Wendy's I guess after I don't even know, fifty years have finally decided to change their burgers. Um, because of declining sales and uh, competition from McDonald's, its biggest competitor, and I guess they're going to change to a slightly bigger burger. Um, I don't really know what's completely different about it. I just know that it looks like a little bit bigger, and I think it's going to be square, look like on the picture. So check that out. Um, so that's basically good about that. I think there might be another story on that. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, I think I'm missing something, but it's fine, I'll move on. Uh, next one is talking about is some scams that have been going on. Wow, uh, they have a story on Yahoo News about scams going on, about um, the traffic light pictures. Traffic light pictures that will be taken, you know, and usually you, get, you know, you get a thing in the mail. And I guess what these people are doing are you'll get a random phone call from somebody and they'll say that uh, this bill's overdue, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you won't go to jail, jail as long as you pay it over the phone right here, right now. But it's actually a scam. People are scamming people like that, so make sure you're watching out for that. Um, also, there was something about. Uh, let me check this real quick. Uh, let me get this right. So the next kind of scam they talked about in the article was where somebody would call and say, well, you had jury duty, didn't show up, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you won't go to jail, but you have to pay a certain amount of fine. Now you may think, okay, well, that's kind of stupid. I wouldn't give my credit card information out over the phone. Um, and if I did, then why would I do that? You know? But there's people who will get scared because of that, you know, older people or, you know, people who just, you know, they're busy, you know, they don't think about stuff, they, they might get that information out. 
Um, another thing they said that might happen is after you give their, your money to them, they might actually call you like a couple days later to, I guess, kind of throw you off the scent. And they'll, they'll say, oh, there was a mistake, uh, so we, we will not be building your credit card. So it'll make you think that nothing's happening and they won't take your credit card for that charge. And then ultimately, they will have stolen money from you, but you won't check it because you're going to think that they didn't charge your card. So basically the whole thing about it is don't give your credit card information out to anybody. Nobody. None of your personal information. Definitely not your social security card, number, nothing like that. All right. So the next story would be um, the top game, I guess, right now. I, I believe it's out. It's got to be out. They were talking about it. It was pretty big. Um, would be the Batman game. Now, I'm not a very huge gamer, but I will say that uh, Batman has been pretty popular in the... Uh, has been pretty popular lately. Um, the other game to watch out for is Gears of War 3, uh, also FIFA 12, uh, NBA 2K 12, uh, a game called Rage, which looks really cool. Um, Dark Souls looks pretty cool. And I think that's about it. So, definitely one of the popular games right now is. Uh, Batman. So make sure to check that out. Gears of War, pretty popular. It used to be big back then. Back when uh, you know Gears of War 2 came out, I remember you know people were talking about it a long time. So uh, it's probably going to be really talked about for the next probably six months until another game comes out. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. The uh, you know they've been talking about that for the last six months, and now that it's out, they'll probably talk about it for you know probably until they come out with another Batman game because evidently people who are making the Batman games they're really really good at it. Because uh, they really like them. Um, so news wise, I really can't think of any more. I'm thinking there was something else to talk about. Oh, I do have, I do have uh, something else. Um, okay, so there was something on the news the other day about um, the post office actually doing a trial run of. Uh, doing something and really, I guess, doing a survey as to whether it's necessary to have the post office and what things they could do without, um, or something like that, and, man, that's got me thinking, it's like, you know, all these years, I think that everybody's been around, there's always been a post office, there's always been a postal service, so, what is the need for a post office right now? So, think about that. You have to think about, you know, like, what has come around that could replace the post office. So, now we have email. Now we have Twitter. Now we have Facebook. Um, we had MySpace. It's kind of mm, waning. Um, you know, we have chat rooms now. So, you know, we have UPS. We have something like that. You know, gets our, you know you, you, you're going to get your stuff, you know. But it's not government really. Uh, gover government owned, really. So, the only thing that I can think of is that that would be the downfall of this whole entire thing would be, is that there would not be a government-owned, uh, like, a shipping department. But then my out in that would be, is the government going to possibly, you know, going to try and acquire UPS or maybe going to, you know, start pushing more into that aspect of delivery and you know, things like that um, and really get rid of everything else. I mean, basically, you know, are they going to get rid of the stamp? That's what my whole thing is, because why do we need the stamp? Uh, I mean, there, there, there is a reason for it, but then again, there, is there really a reason for it? I mean, you could, honestly, if there was a way to, you know, go into any store, you know, buy some sort of, you know, I guess that's basically what the stamp is there, but I'm going to say, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this, and if they're doing a survey about it, I, I really, I mean, I don't know, it's like, what's the downside, the only downside to getting rid of all the post office is all the workers, it's the only downside, but, I mean, that's what the government needs right now, so if they're going to do anything with that, it's going to hurt what they've already been trying to accomplish, and that is, you know, helping the economy, 
And if they do that, it'll basically kill probably. I mean, I would honestly say it, it, that would kill like 40% of the workforce in the United States um, in getting ready for the post office. So if they were going to do that, I mean, that would mean like a lot of pensions, you know, going out. And, uh, I just don't think this would be the right time to do it. The only thing I can think of them doing is possibly getting rid of. Um, like delivery service, really. I mean, like uh, shipping and stuff, like UPS taking over, you know, that, um, maybe saving their money in that. So the mailman would still have a job. They would just be delivering letters. Basically, it would be all, there would no packages anymore. They would, those would go, you know, somewhere else. Those would go to UPS. Uh, basically, hand over like some sort of contract that maybe UPS would work with the, the uh, postal service with that. Uh, something I, I just see you know I, I do see in the next five years the post office being obsolete that there won't be, won't be a post office that there is it won't be the same post office that we know today um, I just see that coming now on top of that I do want to point out a random rant that I would like to point and that is that if you're driving a car and a truck is behind you when it's pitch black outside if If a truck has its lights on and they come up right behind you, I mean right behind you, like they like right on your ass, I mean you can't only really tell if you're up there on your ass or not, but you can't see because they're on your butt and you're trying to turn like either left or right, and it's kind of a kind of an off curve, you know, on a road. Please don't get up on their ass. They cannot see. I I got in a situation the other day where I had to pull completely up. And I'm glad nobody had to come that way from the other direction because I had to get out of the way so the truck could go. And I was not able to see where I was going, so I had to kind of pull up and let him go first because the douchebag was right behind me, blowing his headlights in my window right through my mirror. It was blinding me, so I could not see anything. So that's my rant. That's my rant. Post house is supposed to be my rant, but it was, it was really thought provoking. Give me your comments about the post office down below. Um, what do you think? You know, do you think they'll actually kill the post office? They really shouldn't in today's economy, but because it's just gonna make it even worse. But do you think they will, or do you think they'll wait? You know, I, I just think you know one of the aspects of getting rid of it is gonna end up getting rid of or passed on to somebody else to take care of. Um, maybe split them up, um, stuff like that, and save money. Um, so that's basically all I got. I can't really think of anything else to talk about. If I do, then I'll make another rant for you. Um, but there you go. Brad Tragic Rants. And I will continue to make maybe a rant video every day, or I'm just going to call this Brad Tragic Rants. Because my rants are basically going to include daily news, anything you want to talk about, anything that I come across. Uh, when we talk about anything, let me know. Rants is the show to do it. I will talk about anything you want. There you go. And I do want to point out, I'm a huge wrestling fan, but everybody seems to have a wrestling show on YouTube, and I know that I produce a lot of crap probably on here, but at least I do different things. It seems like they make a show about, like, every single Monday they do the Raw show. Every, you know, right, you know Impact they do a wrestling show. They do all these shows, but that's all they do it for. You know, if you're going to have a YouTube channel on here, you know, do some different stuff, man. I mean, do some different stuff on there, you know. Don't just be, you know, the same old boring crap, you know. Do some random videos, you know, do some different stuff, you know. That's what I do, you know. I, I continue to put different shows on here, try and think of new shows that people would actually want to watch. I mean, I, mean, I, I may not be getting very many views, but, you know, that's why I put out there. So, thank you. Walk you watch. Subscribe above. Comment down below. Brad Tragic. Oh, eat the parents.